Hi guys, so today is going to be my first ever Let's Play video. Um, I pre-ordered the game of Sea of Thieves and that just arrived today. So this is my first time playing the full version. Um, previously I was invited to the Alpha um, and I was the only one out of my two brothers that got invited to it. I think that was probably because I was a girl. Um, so I've dabbled in the game a little bit. I haven't played it an awful lot. Um, I've been really busy and stuff like that, so it's exciting to see how far it's come since the Alpha. Um, yeah, so from memory I just remember having a little go at the Alpha and just, I think, oh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, all you could do at the time was just, you'd be a random, genera um, a random generated character um, and then you'd be automatically paired with a couple of other players and you'd be... Um, on a boat trying to work together to fight off the other ships and you'd go to islands and kill some skeletons and stuff like that. It was very basic what you could do at the alpha stage. Um, and I haven't really played it when it was during the beta so um, yeah I'm interested to see what the full version's like and I've been really looking forward to this game coming out. So yeah let's get started. So I've just started the game. Um, it's just saying to choose a character to represent your adventures. Um, okay, so it's saying on your journey towards becoming a pirate legend, you'll be able to customise your chosen character with clothing, hairstyles, beard styles, eye patches, hooks, peg legs, equipment and weapons. Okay, because I was assuming you were going to be able to make a character from scratch, but I think by the looks of it, ah, great, because it looks like these are ones you can pick from, and then if you don't like them, I'm guessing you just... Oh, what am I doing? Okay, so you can't make your own character from scratch. You just have to randomly generate them into find one you like. So I don't know how long this is going to take because none of these are ooh, calling out to me. Hmm. Interesting. Which is kind of annoying because I would have preferred to have made my own character, to be honest. Like, I would have liked to have completely customised it from head to toe, made it my own. Whereas this kind of is a bit annoying. Because I don't know how many times I'm going to have to refresh it till I find one that I actually like. So, we will find out. I'm hoping this all works. They're all ugly. <laughs> oh. Can we get someone that's cute, please? I want super fly. I don't know if there's literally, like, I'm going to make it up like, I don't know, 30 different options and they're just going to keep coming back or if it's literally they're all just randomised every time. Why are they so hideous? I wanted to create a cute pirate. They're no cute. I'm sorry. And I want to play a girl, so that rules that out. Oh, God, no. <sighs> this is just so sad. What, is, what are those? Oh, my God. No, no. They're all pretty ugly. They're like, haha, pick me. And I'm like, no way. Not over my dead body. We're going to be here all year, so they're so ugly. Make it stop. Oh, yeah. By the way, my uh, Xbox username is Sassy Jade. Um, yeah, look, when I made that, it was a long time ago, and I thought that was cool. And yeah, yeah, it's not my, it's not my best moment. Um, I'm very, very tempted to change that into something else that's not Sassy Jade. But unfortunately, that's Sassy Jade for the time being. So uh, if you see a Sassy Jade walking about, that is. Uh, me. Okay, so I think I'm gonna choose this one. She has the nicest face out of all of them. So I think with the cool hairstyle and some cool clothes, I think she could be cool. So we'll give her a go. I think I'm just gonna choose her. Yep. There we go. Yeah, she's the prettiest. Oh, select your ship. Galleon or a, sl or a sloop. 
Is that how you say it? Set, set sail for the most memorable adventures in this large, well-equipped ship. Set sail in a small, nimble ship which is more fragile. Why would I choose a smaller ship when I can have a bigger one? Is there a trick question as to why I would pick a bigger one or a smaller one? Okay, so Aaron just informed me, um, unless I'm intending on playing with the group or whatever, just to go for the small ship. And I, you can change these settings later on if you want to play as a bigger crew or whatever, but I'm just going to go for this loop. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I'm going to go sail alone. So I think that'll work. It's because I don't have enough context of this game yet. Okay. All right, cool. And as well, I have some codes, so I'm going to have to use those at some point. I'm sure, I think it gives you like special clothes or something like that. Alrighty, set sail. I'm actually impressed with how nice the character turned out. I, out of all the other ones that were so ugly, I'm glad I find like I found one that was actually like half decent. So I'm pretty happy about that. Which is good. And I like this game because it's also made by Rare, which I'm a big fan of Banjo Kazooie. That's one of my favourite games of all time. So I knew that this game should and probably will be very good. Um, from what I've played so far, I thought it was quite good, and that was at when it had the minimal features, when it didn't have like free play, pretty much. So it's cool to be able to play it in its completeness. I'm pretty excited. And I have the graphics as well. And it looks really good on Xbox One X, which is what my brothers are playing it on, which they're playing it in 4K, which is really cool. It looks even more amazing. I'm just playing it on the Xbox One S. Okay, so we've finally got the game started and we're ready to go. Banana, I've got a compass, a bucket, a light, a lamp, sorry, a shovel. Oh, and another thing I like about this game as well, it's really cool when you're looking for treasure. Um, you have to go to islands and you have to literally find where the treasure is and you just dig random holes and stuff and try and find, and you have a map to refer to, and you literally have to try and figure out where the treasure is, it's really cool. Um, oh. She looks funky with her eyes. I see you. Uh -huh. Go with purpose. Mm, cool. Take a banana. I'm guessing you can just... I mean, I don't fully understand this game. As I said, I've not really played it enough to know. And as I said, I played it in the very early stages of the alpha. And yeah, it literally just was... You would, it would just send you to a boat with some random players and you would have um, to do a bit of a, a ocean battle type of thing. Oh, I think I've got enough bananas. I don't think I can take any more. Can I eat them? Oh, okay. Right, okay. Okay, eat, oh, eat a banana skin and all. Okay. I'm um, just trying to figure this all out. I'm guessing you can only hold a maximum of five bananas. And wooden planks. Oh yeah, as well when your boat's getting damaged, um, you can patch them up with the wooden planks. And the compass is helpful too, because you can literally do that. Which is very good for when you're trying to navigate the maps. Um, the bucket. I'm pretty sure that's for when the boat is overflowing with water. You can scoop it out and throw it overboard. I think that's what it's for. Um, and then we've got lamp when it's dark, obviously. Cannonballs for loading the cannon. What's this? Oh, oh, cool. We've got a little um, telescope. Okie dokie. And yeah, we haven't got any weapons. 
yet. Oh, we've got hang on, there's more. What's this? What does that mean? Is this the time? I don't get how... Uh, I'm confused with that. Oh no, that's seconds. Is it the clock? I don't know, it's really weird. I'm not sure. It doesn't really say, does it? Okay, so you've got... I'm not sure what these are for. So if it's just for fun or if that's got a purpose. A drink cup. Does this do anything? Or is this just for fun? Um, okay, so I haven't got any weapons yet. I'm just gonna select that and then select that. If I have nothing, can I just have nothing, please? Oh, okay. This is how you change weapons. You press Y. So you've got a gun and you've got a sword. Okay, alrighty. Is there a way to change the view? I want to change like the view. Oh, okay. Sailor. What reputation? Okay. I wonder if there's a way of changing the character view so you can see character, or if this is just the only mode you can be in. I have no idea. Oh, take a cannonball. Yeah, take some of those. I don't want to hold it. Thank you. All right, examine this pirate code. Okay, pirate code. This is the map, but I'm not sure what it wants me to do. Okay, well, interesting, interesting. I'm just sort of gathering my, gathering what's going on around here. What can I explore? I want to make sure I collect everything I can. I can't collect any more. Wooden planks, I've got them all. Pretty sure you can return here and pick up stuff anytime. Oh, okay. Cute. I like all the interactive things as well. Cool. Um, anything else to interact with? Taking bananas, all of that. I'm going out here. Should I just go outside? Can I talk to her? What's she saying? Anything take you fancy? Refill. Steal me something new to add during your travels and I'll be very grateful. Hmm. She said something about a necklace. Okay, okay. She wants me to add something to it. That's interesting. Whoa. Okay. Wow. This place, this place is so pretty. Okay. Hmm. What should I do first? I have no idea. Exploring. Okay, we're gonna run because I ain't got time for walking. I wonder where I start. Where do I what do I do? Now nah, I sound really dim, but you know what I mean. It's so pretty though, I love the colours. The colouring's great. Love the ocean. Gotta figure out how to get this game started. Oh. Hey, what's going on here? Someone died. A very small person. Can I interact with it? No. Can I kill him? Yeah. Oh. What have I done? Okay, what's this? Ah. Cool. Vanity chest. So this is where you can like update your stuff. Hang on a minute. Hair. You can do your hairstyles. Okay, we're in long hair. Okay. Go back. Beard, hair. Um. 
Wait a second, you're telling me I can't choose my hair colour? I have no idea if you can even change your hair colour now. I'm, I thought you could. I'm assuming now that just means you get the hair colour that you came with, which is annoying. But whatever. Whatever it is. That is super annoying. I want to wear a dress. Thank you. How do I unselect? Unselect. Thank you. Naked, yep. Yeah. Wearing a dress. Wearing some shoes. We've got class, you know what I mean? Do we, do we want gloves? Do we want a jacket? No. Diselect. I'm going to wear a dress and shoes. Could this be a cool AF? Oh, whatever. I'm a bit annoyed. Oh, hang on, hang on. Don't get too excited. What's this? Can we buy hair colour? How can I help you? Okay, I'm just establishing how this all works. Oh, cool. When you get coins, you can get some cool clothes. Yeah, this is cool. Some fancier out. Oh yeah, that's my kind of jam. Okay, and you unlock things as you go ahead. Blah blah blah. Interesting. Have Alrighty. a great voyage. What can I do? And what is this? Oh, some funky business in here. Some magic stuff. Fate brings you to us. Mm. What's this? Initiation voyage. Don't cost any coins, but they're like initiation voyages. Interesting. The order awaits your return. Okay. Okay. I'm a little bit clueless. So I'm just trying to establish what's happening here. Gather round. So you got to sell equipment. Ah, oh, nice buckets. Um, I'm wondering what the difference between the buckets are. Do they? Is it just for yourself, or is it actually better, or is it just for looks? I'm just gonna jump on the boat. What's this? Shoes. Oh, quickly now! What do you want? Merchant Alliance. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So these are kind of like little quests, same as the other thing. But these ones are based on delivering things. Why don't we just accept one? This one? Fancy to peel for the pitfall misses. Let's buy more. They're all free, may as well. What are you waiting for? And then what's he offering? Oh, should go back and buy the other ones. Hello? Talk to Sharon. Shipwright stock. Oh, cool. Okay, so you can get all these cool things on the end of your ship. Sick. It's cool if you get like a mermaid. There's a merman, but. My man's cool too. The golden thing, I quite like that. Cool, funky designs. I love purple, purple or something, blue. Sweet. I just want to start off basic anyway. I don't want to fight anything, I'm not really knowing what I'm doing. How do I get. Do I just have to jump down here and do this? That would be really helpful. Ah, okay, what we've got here. That's where our boat is, and this is the map. Okay, alright. 
cool. What's this? Set the sail length. Ah, look at that. Okay, we've got one bit done. Ah, there we go. Now we found it. It's cool because it's not just like a flip of a button and you make your boat move. You have to actually do the proper things that you'd need to do to actually play the game. So that's that's pretty cool. It's quite cool actually. It's not it's not it's almost like it's not too easy. We've actually got to properly try and do it. Okay. All right, so we're finally getting somewhere. Okay, so this is a lot trickier than I thought it would be. Okay, so you can see so the compass which direction you're sailing. I wish I knew what I was actually doing. Oh, who's trying to kill me? What the hell? We're in Wanderer's Refuge. Someone tried to shoot at me. Who's shooting at me? Who is shooting at me? What is going on? I swear someone's shooting at me. Why can't I see a boat? What the hell? Holy shit. Oh, I just crashed my boat. Whoa, shit. Let's just say I haven't quite got the hang of this. It's actually quite difficult. Like I'm not even I'm not even joking. You've actually got to really try to sail this without effing your boat up. Like what I'm just doing. And who is shooting at me? Sure, this is not video. Oh shit, my boat actually. Well, Dean, how do I play this? I'm dying. Oh no. Someone's shooting at me, but I can't see anyone. Why, who, what, there's a skull that's shooting at me, what does that mean? Look, my boat got sunk by, I don't know, nothing's here. No, that thing's shooting at me. Okay, so we're going to send Aaron in to help me because that was a disaster. My boat just got sunk. Am I right when I said there was cannonballs coming for me? But I couldn't see where they were coming from. Am I, am I crazy or what? because I could you know, move my boat away from whatever it is, but I couldn't see where the cannonballs were coming from. The only thing I could see that looked bad was that skull, but I think that was shooting cannonballs at me. How do I do that these? How that, do I... that just shows your level, so you have all those voyages, right? How so, do I do them? So what you do, you go into your boat, and then this table right here. Oh, to propose what one you're gonna yeah, select. Yeah, you need to choose one of them. Okay, cool. This is Oberg. Tells you what to do. Oh, thank God. So you gotta get two white feathered chickens by 10 a.m. on the 12th. Which to tell what the date is, you want to look your watch. Ah, oh, 10 a.m. of the 12th. How do I tell? What? How do you? How well, do you read so, that? Well, that's Roman numerals, and then that's the um, the day. So it's a six. So you got six in-game days. And then this is the map, and then you can mark stuff. Where do I find the chickens? Go around to different islands. Usually the, the big islands have the animals. But I was getting shot from one of these. Can you, can you get shot from islands? You can get shot from islands if they have like random skeletons. Oh, uh, maybe they were shooting at me. Okay. So I just realized my recording stopped, my voice recording. So I have no idea at what point that cut out. Um, so basically, just in case, I was just looking for chickens as part of my quest. Aaron gave me a little bit of help because I had no idea how to, I knew how to collect the quest, but I didn't know how to put those in action. And anyway, so my boat, obviously, as you could tell, sunk. Um, I like, crashed it in some rocks, which was stupid. Um, but Aaron said that, because obviously I decided to still capture the chickens anyway. He said, as long as you've captured them, you leave them on the sand. When you go back 
to get a new boat when you respawned or whatever, the boat's respawned, then you can, um, if no one's stolen your chickens, they should still be there. So I was gonna do that. So I walked away and I've come back and clearly here I am, I've died, that's why I'm here. So now I'm actually dead, so that's great. Now I need to know how to... Okay, this is tricky, this is tricky. This is obviously a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a fail video. This is a little bit of a, not my finest moment as you can tell. So that is it for today's episode. Um, after editing it, I realized I have way too much footage than I needed. So I decided to split this here and save the rest of the footage for the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first little gameplay video. Um, obviously it wasn't much to see as I was still trying to get used to controls and stuff like that. But hopefully as the episodes go along, we'll start to see a little bit more exciting gameplay. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you have any suggestions, please leave those in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.